guys, welcome back to West Coast Bushcraft. It's Cameron. Um, well, different setting, as you might see. We aren't on Vancouver Island and the west coast of Canada anymore, but we are in Panama, way down south. At home, in Canada, in some places there's still snow. <laughs> but down here, it's nice and humid and warm. And um, I hope you like the flute music. Um, I made a flute out of some bamboo I found out here. And I haven't been doing bushcraft as much as at home, just because, I mean, I don't know the place as well, and I barely know the place, and um, there's snakes and stuff I'm scared of, and at home there's none of that. But um, I've taken this time to make a video, because we haven't made a video for like three months. So I had to make one now. So today, we are going to be making it about four essential knots. Now, we are actually on a boat down here in the Caribbean for um, a whole year. So sadly, Max won't be in any of our videos for a whole year, unless he makes one back home, but probably not. So um, let's get on to some of the knots. First one is going to be a clawfish. Boom. OK, so I'm just going to use my flute for um, an example of a tree or whatever you want to do and it's just pretty much the same if you want to do it diagonally like that on a tree but um so first off what you're gonna do is you're just gonna put your rope over like that and then you're gonna bring it back under towards yourself um on the right side which it would be your left side my right side and pull that up so it should look like that. And then you're going to cross over, going over the left side of your rope, and then put that down. And then you're going to get make sure this is a little loose. Then you're going to pull it under again and go right through the hole you just made. And that's your clawfish. And it's kind of loose right now. So I just usually like to put a simple hitch like that over. And that keeps it really nice and tight. And this is a great knot for bushcraft. If you're getting into bushcraft, I guarantee this knot will come in handy. You can haul logs with it, tie ridge pulls with it. It's just such a great knot. So that's one that you should definitely practice. Okay, so the next knot is the bowline. Um, bowline. Now, you just, you're gonna take your rope and you're gonna twist it in your fingers like this. You're gonna twist it this, this way, and this out that way until it loops over itself just like that. Then you're gonna wanna make sure that the long end of the rope, the rope that you're gonna be going around later with this, is on the bottom side like this. And you're gonna Take um, the short end of your rope, you're going to put it through the hole. So um, the story is the rabbit goes up the hole, then it goes around the tree and goes back down the hole. And it should look right like that. It's a pretty unmistakable knot and you can see it everywhere. And this knot, just, it will not come undone. It, it, it is such a great knot. Um, and as you can see, even though there's snakes, it's not stopping me from staying barefoot. So next um, knot will be just a simple square knot. Okay, so this one is great if you have a piece of paracord or rope and it just isn't far enough to stretch between two trees. So take another piece of paracord and what you're gonna do is you're gonna X, just like that, so simple. And you're gonna have left over right and under. And then you're gonna have right over left and under. And at the end, the knot should look like this. It's another unmistakable knot. It's just, it's really easy to spot a square knot. And this is another one that is really useful for bushcraft. Okay, so this fourth and final one 
isn't exactly a knot, but we're gonna put it in here anyways because it involves rope and some twisting and turning. So, what you're gonna do is you're gonna stretch out your arms. Whoa, the bugs are coming out. And you're gonna stretch out your arms like this, and then you're gonna fold like this and you're gonna twist these so it makes a perfect loop like this. And you're just gonna keep doing that till it's done. Okay, so now that you've got all your coils, um, what you're gonna do is you're gonna have to leave quite a long length of rope after. Because the next step is you're gonna coil it around like that. Try and make it as neat and as tidy as possible. Don't worry about having it tight, we'll fix that later. Okay, so once you got a couple wraps on it, you're going to twist it, you're gonna make a loop, not cross it over, just like this. And you're gonna put that through the top hoop. And then you're gonna take this one, your remaining end, and you're just gonna put it right through that loop that you just made, and tighten it up. And then you pull that, cinch that, and perfect, that's your knot, and you can you can do whatever. You can do a clove hitch to tie this up onto a tree so it doesn't get in your way. And so that is some four basic knots. So thanks again, guys, for watching West Coast Bushcraft. Um, make sure to like and subscribe and um, share with your friends. Um, it helps our channel. So um, on that note, see you next time on West Coast Bushcraft.